Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic and the makers of Faux Memo reached out to me and asked if I would review their product and I'm really excited to do it. So let's go ahead and do this unboxing and see what it's all about. I did visit their website and looked around a little bit so I kind of know what we're in for here but I'm not going to talk about it. Let's just get into the box. So this is how it came. I'm opening it from the bottom because of the shipping label. Okay. So, it's packaged like so. Let's make sure that's everything. Yeah. Okay. This is what the box looks like. It's called memo works with iOS Android Bluetooth lithium battery supportable printer did I not mention that in the beginning yes it's a portable printer and it uses thermal printing so let's go ahead and open a little bit further I'm pretty sure that thermal means that it's going to be black and white, which is cool. I think this is, would probably work really great with journaling or journals or any kind of journaling, really, for your planner. Okay. user manual got your USB let's make sure that's everything yep let's take it out of the bag it has a little plastic sleeve on it um, I usually don't like to take these off but I'm going to go ahead and take that off so this is what it looks like and I guess this is where it opens yep for the paper so this is what the inside looks like this is the roll of paper I'm gonna take the tape off And I guess I should be reading the directions right about now. So let's do that. So this is the user manual. First off, it says fully charge the battery before using the first time. So before I go charge that, let's see what this is. I think this is extra papers. So let's get into this. White self adhesive thermal paper. The content lasts for two years. So, yeah, these are just extra rolls of paper. Let's put those back. And I wonder if the uh, paper is treated like if it's Mod Podge or something like that, would it preserve it longer? If you know anything about thermal printing and thermal printed papers, leave me a comment below and tell us what you know and share what you know, please. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and charge this and then I'll be back to test it out and give you my first impressions. I'm back and I am ready to try and print some photos. So this is fully charged I just took it off of the charger I let it charge overnight and it says fully charge the battery before using the first time to turn on the machine press and hold the power button for three seconds okay then it says download the app and I'm gonna search for faux memo And I'm going to install.
Okay, I'm opening the app. This is what the main screen of the app looks like. So you can scan QR codes where you can actually type notes and print those out. You can print images. It has templates, a toolbox. It's got micro print. And then it has Word doc. Yeah, it pulls in any Word docs you may have on your device. I'm going to use image because that is my main interest in using this. Is being able to quickly add images to my spreads. Or for memory keeping, even though the shelf life of this particular paper that I have is only two years. But they do have other papers available on their website that are more suitable for archival purposes so so I'm just I just tap the print and I'm gonna leave everything as is and click done or tap done <gasps> look at that and that's there it is oh my goodness that's so cool and then you could just tear it off and this paper that they sent me is a sticker paper i will just cut this excess off up at the top that is that is awesome wow yeah so it's a self-adhesive paper and that's what it looks like i mean it's not super duper glossy high-end finish because it's thermal printing so you have to keep that in mind it's got a rustic look to it but i think it's awesome you don't have to buy ink all you have to do is buy the paper that's great and yes it's black and white but again you're not buying any ink and generally ink is the most expensive part of printing a lot of times the ink that you buy for your printer costs more than the printer. Let's try another photo. Let's we'll do one of me and my son. Just to see. Okay. Wow. That works so good. Okay, I am totally impressed. The only drawback I have with this is that the shelf life of this particular paper. But again, if I want something that's going to last for years and years and years, then I would just have to buy a different type of paper. It uses a USB charger, which you saw. So I'm checking on their website and they do have other options for the paper like I mentioned this is the two year rolls the two year is the rolls that I have they also have 10 year five year they have transparent paper so that you can use it for labeling in the kitchen they also have clear thermal paper they have colors now also in yellow blue and pink and those are five-year rolls so I think this is really fun it's gonna be fun to play with and I will be ordering more of the rolls I think I want the clear and the colored rolls so I want to test out a few of the other features that it has other than the print image feature so I'm going to go to toolbox and it has this banner and ruler option this is what the ruler looks like I'm not sure if that's coming through but I think the banner actually prints um, words horizontally. So I'm going to just put my website in here and try printing that and see what happens. So while that's printing, I'm going to go on to the templates. I think you can just print these out and use them on your memory keeping or in your journal or your planner or however you want to use them but it has these little cartoon characters it has to-do lists it has frames 
So I guess you could print out a photo, print out a frame and use them together, layer them, and then it has a schedule so you can print a actually print a calendar out. So I'm going to print, let's tear this off. Wow, this is long. Can't even get it all the way in the screen. I used up a bunch of paper. I'm going to go ahead and print this calendar, this blank monthly calendar. You can actually choose to print multiple uh, copies. So that's what that looks like. So I think that's just what the templates are. Then you can print the frames and print a photo and put the photo on the frame. Um, so that's what the templates are. Let's go to scan. I think what scan is, is you can just take a photo and print it. It also has, I'm not going to do this one, but you can take a photo, print it. It has a feature to turn on your flash or you can just go to the gallery and pull up images. So I'm going to pull up this one. So this is one I wanted to print anyway. So I'm going to open this up. So it basically outlines it. I'm going to print it like this and see what it looks like. So there's that. It's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go to... Now that was in the scan feature. Let's go to the actual print image feature and see how it prints. Okay, so the scan feature does some type of effect on the image and the print image feature uh, actually prints the image and just in black and white the way it is. Let's go to notes, planner friends, make the best friends. It's the only thing I can think of right now. <laughs> so you can make adjustments to what you have. I'm going to leave it as is. It has text options down here. It's even got text bubbles. So it has somewhat of a text editor built in. You can insert images. It has emojis. So I guess that's what the horizontal option was. I could have turned it to print the other way and it just prints out this little quote. So you can print out your quotes for your spreads. You can print quotes for your journal, your date for your journal. Basically anything that you can think of. If you can type it out, you can print it. So it does have the option here to save, if you wanna save. So I'm not gonna do the Word doc. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory if you work with Word documents. Um, the micro print is the one that I was curious about. I just put in some tags from my clipboard just to see what micro print does to give me, you know, a good quantity of text, and I'm going to print those tags. Okay, so it just, I don't, I'm not sure what the difference is with micro print. It just prints really, really small. You can see that. So those are the different features. You can print photos. It has some templates you can use. You have a special effect, an outline effect, I guess you would call that. And of course the text along with the photos. So, I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless with this. You can do quite a few things with this faux memo as far as your crafting, your planning, uh, creative memory keeping, because basically these would work as stickers. You can do a banner. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's totally worth the price. It is $69.99 currently on their website. And they were kind enough to allow me to offer a brand new 
faux memo in the color of your choice in a giveaway. All of the information for the giveaway will be in the description box below. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!